In the video today, I'm gonna to show you how to mirror your Moto G 5G phone to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. Today I wanna to show you how to play what's on your phone on your TV. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. So in the first method, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your entire screen to the TV. So if you're showing gameplay or you're trying to show a very specific process that you do on the phone or on a TV, I'm gonna show you in that first method. In the second method, I'm just gonna show you how to play a video from your phone to the TV. So each method is different and there are pros and cons. So I will go over the pros and cons when I get to each section. Note to do this, I'm gonna be using a Google Chromecast. Uh, so make sure you have a Google Chromecast. If not, I'll have a link below in the description of where you can get one. Um, they're usually around 40 bucks. You plug it into any HD TV um, and you'll also need a Wi-Fi connection to make this work, all right? so. Let's jump right into the process. So, first, make sure you turn on your TV, make sure your Chromecast is plugged in, and make sure you switch your TV to the input or the source that your Chromecast is plugged into. Next, on your phone, you're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. Make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi network that your Chromecast is also plugged into. If it's not, get on that Wi-Fi by simply uh, tapping this button here selecting your Wi-Fi network, and then putting in that password. Next, we're gonna swipe down again, swipe to the left, and swipe one more time. And we're gonna tap on the screencast button. And when you tap that, it'll show you all of the devices that will be compatible with mirroring your screen. And so here is my Chromecast HD, and I have it named Den TV. I'm going to tap there, and then, I'm going to, let's slide this over so you can actually see the TV when I hit the button, what it's gonna look like. So let's tap start now, give it a few seconds, and when it connects, you're going to see my screen mirror to the TV. Now I did notice that uh, sometimes when I do this, I have to hit the buttons twice because for some reason, it doesn't always register the first time. So let's try one more time. Tap on cast screen. Tap on the device here, DIN TV or my Chromecast. Tap start now. And there you go. You should see my phone on the TV. And now everything I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. Now again, this is great for showing gameplay. It's also great if you're trying to demonstrate a process, like maybe you're trying to show someone how to use an app, you can go right to the app. And you can show them the entire process of how the app works. This is also great if you're trying to show pictures. Maybe you have a, a trip that you went on and you have like pictures or video. You can simply go to your Google Photos and from there you can scroll through pictures and then they'll show up on the TV. So just like this. Now to stop your phone from mirroring to the TV, you're going to swipe down from the top, swipe down again, swipe to your left, swipe to your left, and then tap on the cast screen button again and then tap disconnect. This will stop your phone from mirroring to the TV. So that was our first process. And again, in that first uh, process, again, you mirror everything that's happening. Now the downside to using that process is guess what? If someone sends you a text message and you try to respond, that's gonna show up on your TV and you may not want folks to see your text messages. So the second method is a little bit better and specifically, I like this when I'm trying to just show a video that's on my phone, I wanna show it to the TV, because this way the video is gonna play on your TV, but you can still use your phone to do other things, so that's kind of the difference. So, in the second method, I'm going to go to the app that has the video I wanna play. In this case, I wanna show something from YouTube, so I'm gonna to go to the YouTube app. From here, I'm going to select a video, let me find one of my videos, of course. And if you're not subscribed to my second channel, Tech Made Easy, make sure you subscribe, a lot of great content on that channel as well. Let's say I'm trying to show this video on the TV, I'm going to open the video up, I'm gonna pause it, and in the upper corner, there's a little button, this is your cast icon, tap on that icon, and here you're gonna see all the devices that are gonna be compatible now, uh, I did mention at the very beginning of the video that 
um, I was gonna be using a Chromecast. Well, guess what? In this second method, if you have a smart TV or even an Amazon Echo Show device, you can actually play your video on on different type of devices. You can do more than just with the Chromecast. So if you have a smart TV right here, you can see this is my Samsung smart monitor showing up. And here is my uh, Amazon Echo Show 15 device. So I can mirror to any one of these three devices. I'm still gonna do it to the Den TV, uh, which is my Chromecast, but just showing you that you have a couple of other options available. Let's tap on Den TV, give it a few seconds, and our video is gonna start playing on the TV. And the cool thing is, once it starts playing, um, all right, so now our video is playing. I can now hit the home button and I can do other things on my phone while that video plays and it's not gonna show up on the TV. So I can go to my text messages and I can answer some conversations and I can just do other things um, and it's not gonna interfere with what's happening on the video. So that's why I love this second method, especially if your goal is simply to just show a video on your phone to the TV. Now this will also work with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. It should work with just about all of the video streaming apps. Very similar process. Open the video and get to the screen where the video is playing and you should see that cast icon is gonna show up on the video and that's how you send it to the TV, okay? Now, I'm going to swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see my video is gonna be playing right at the top here. I can control the video by pausing right in this section here. I can rewind from here. And when I'm all done, if you take two fingers, you can swipe down. Oh, it looks like they might have updated the control. So I'm simply just gonna tap on the video here. I'm gonna go back to that cast icon in the upper right corner and I'm going to tap that button and hit disconnect. And that's gonna stop the video from casting to the TV. And now I'm simply back to my phone and we're all done. This brings us to the end of our video. Um, I'll have links below in the description of where you can get a Chromecast. Um, there are so many different models that are available, but you wanna get one that was made within the last year or two because those have the most updated software. And that's simply the process to mirror your Moto G 5G screen to your TV. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.